Hi guys, hi YouTube, it is Chi Chi again from Supple Chic. So you might see me looking quite similar in a couple of videos, that's because I'm shooting this all at the same time. It's been an eventful week, it's been an eventful day. Um, I'm doing a haul video. So, um, can I get into the haul? Let me get into the haul. Okay, so first thing in the haul, and I'm probably forgetting stuff, guys, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to start with clothing. So I picked up this jumpsuit from ASOS, ASOS Curve, and since I've lost weight, I'm kind of like a 14 in a lot of ASOS things. I don't really buy as much stuff from the Curve section. However, um, I knew that something like this, because I'm fuller on the bottom that I would definitely need to get this from the curve section and I was right I actually got it in a size 14 and a 16 just because I wasn't sure how the fit was going to be and it was 14 from the the curve section so and I ended up keeping the 14 okay um it's basically a jumpsuit and I'm gonna insert a picture okay and it has like features this mesh detailing right here and on this, the whole sleeve is made up of this mesh. Okay, both sides. It's kind of long sleeve. Okay, and this is the waist. It has like a gathered waist. Okay, and it's long all the way to your, the bottom of your knees. And it has pockets. And it kind of reminds me of like a tracksuit, you know. And it has exposed zipper in the back and the same mesh okay and I believe it was $58 so someone I follow one of my one of the girls I follow um, on Instagram I think she lives in the UK she posted a picture of this and I jumped for it one because I haven't ha I only had had I, I have I don't have any jumpsuits in my wardrobe and the one that I did have I sold because the top was just too um, big for me so uh, here is my, if you were thinking of getting this tracksuit, here is my honest opinion. I love the mesh detailing. And because of the mesh detailing, I'm giving this a 7. 6.57. But aside from that, the quality of the jersey, it looks better on camera. Maybe they made it that way. It just looks like, like gym pant. Like a gym pant. I don't want to explain to you. Like... If they had made this in like a silky chiffon, not chiffon, but a silky polyester, it would have come out a whole lot better and it would have looked a lot better and less cheap. So it's not that it looks cheap, it just, it looks, it looks too casual. That's what I'm going to say. And I really wasn't going for the casual thing. However, the sports luxe trend is really big right now. Like if you see the girls wearing track pants with heels that whole little bomber jackets that's kind of kind of in right now it's kind of big for right now so i'm guessing that um this is like their take on sports lux however <laughs> um i don't know just wearing it head to toe so I'm on the fence about it. It is fifty-eight dollars. I personally think that it's gonna go on sale, but it might have it might be sold out. I don't know, but I think it's gonna go on sale. And so if you're interested in this, I definitely think you should wait, um, and wait for it to go on sale. But yeah, and I'm mad because I didn't even get a coupon. I didn't even use a coupon code. I was just so excited to buy this, and I never shop without a coupon code. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's the first thing I'm just okay the next thing I actually just picked up today when I went to return a forever 21 order trapeze kind of style tank it's in the front it's short in the front and lower in the back and I got it because of another purchase that I just that I'll show you my American Apparel disco pants so I like this because then I won't have to tuck it in in the front it just you know it's high it's higher almost like a crop top so it's just a simple and I like the fact that it's a v-neck one instead of the traditional um like circle very flattering and it has like ruching it has ruching in the back if you can see yeah my camera is adjusting so in the back and it's trapeze like I said high in the front 
um, high in the back, low in the front. Okay? And of, of course, you guys, unless you're under a rock, you know that black and white is like really in for right now. And of course, this was 1580. But again, I went to return um, a few things. And that's how. Um, the next thing I got, again, this is another on the fence purchase, is this top, which was like displayed with the whole Beyonce for H&M. This um, pineapple color, this is what I call this colored, um, like open knit t shirt thing. Um, and it was $17.95. Um, again, I'm on the fence about it. Um, I just... The next thing I got was this Moto Vest, um, from Forever 21. So, H&M had a white Moto Vest that was pure, that was all leather in the fall of 2012. And I totally lusted for it. But it was a hundred bucks. I think it was 125 and I was like, ain't no way I'm paying one twenty five for, you know, a vest. So anyways, Forever 21, is they're doing these in a variety of colors, not just um, white. They had blue, they had ox blood, you know. And again, I am such a big fan of vests, um, any kind, from sleeveless trenches to sleeveless jackets to cargo vests. Any kind because again they really help to um, camouflage any tummy issues that you have um, and they're really great for layering you know if there is, leather is a trend for spring and summer I don't know what the um, designers are thinking but it's it's um it's one of the trends one of the one of the um, trends we saw on the runway and Rihanna actually just had a mint um just had on a mint colored leather skirt so color leather in like springy colors white mint baby yellow you know light like camel those kind of colors are very very not very very but quite in right now. So this is a very great way if you like leather to you know still wear leather on during the spring and the next thing I got was from the H&M for Beyonce I figured every time H&M does like a collaboration I never ever buy anything H&M Beyonce whatever it's not even really a collaboration she's just the model but anyways um I never buy anything so I decided to pick this bustier up I actually have a bustier really similar to this that I made um, but I, and the prices in this collection were so reasonable, and it's because it's their summer collection, anyways. Um, and it's just a little bustier. It has straps. The only thing I don't like is that the straps aren't adjustable. That's yeah, shame on you, H and M. You should have made the straps adjustable. And although it has um, underwire, to me this really doesn't give you much support. However, I think. That I maybe should have gotten a um, medium because this actually does stretch. So my waist is about a 39. So if you're around my waist, um, you could definitely fit into these. Um, but yeah, maybe I don't have the right kind of boobies. But I had to put on my own like strapless bra with this because it just didn't look good with the underwire that came with this. And. This is fourteen ninety five for this little bustier. Okay, it's fourteen ninety five for the bustier. I also picked up this dress, which also may go back because I didn't know when I picked it up that the back is out like this. That's a hole. That's the hole in the back, like hold back out. You know, I would never be able to wear this alone because I always have to wear a bra. I'm not in any way small chested. And also, and I don't know what kind of bra I'm going to wear with this because it has a really deep scoop, you know. It has a really deep scoop, so I'm not sure what kind of bra I would wear with this. Also, the print on this dress is, is gorgeous. If you can see that, it's like a lake or something with a mountain in the back I mean it's really gorgeous yeah and then I like this kind of like neon -y color up here you know and then it just keeps going 
So I would definitely pair this with you know, my white blazer. Also, the length is pretty decent. It reaches me like right be below my knee. And the fa um, it's a very forgiving, very stretchy fabric. The only thing I don't like is that it does ride up. So, but I have a feeling that like if I wear this a couple of times, it will kind of loosen up. Forever 21. I picked up just this little um, polka dot. What do they call these things? Um, bandeau style. Not bandeau, but um, what do they call it? Two top. Just something that I can throw on during the summer when it's really hot. And these were seven eighty, so I really couldn't complain. And it's a large um, from the non plus size section. I also got it in mint. Just some easy clothes that you could just throw on. Like I could picture myself throwing on that little um, bandeau with my high waisted linen pants. And just some simple thong sandals, and you're good to go. Um, and then the thing that was like making waves on Instagram, and if you're not following me, I'm at Supple Chic. Um, the swimsuit. So I picked this up from this is from the Forever 21 Plus collection. Next thing I got was from the um, Forever 21 kind of sales section. I picked up these tweed black and white shorts, which I am putting up for sale. So if you want them, please let me know. Um, I got them in a 16. I should have gotten the 18. The waist fits perfect. The leg opening fits well, but it's some it's tight like around my crotch area. So, and I don't like when wearing the look of tight shorts. Um, so if you're interested in these, just let me know. The original price is $19.80. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and share, okay, um, if you like the video. Um, and stay blessed. Dashian sisters, I think it was Kim who had some really big Tom Ford circle sunnies. Now these aren't as big as